Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, the 21st of December 2014 and ending Friday the 26th. This is the last full, well, not full week. It's the last full week of 2014, although it's not really a full week with the markets closed, uh, banks and everything closed on uh, Thursday for Christmas. We've got a half day on Wednesday in the stock markets for Christmas Eve. Uh, nobody's going to come back for that Friday session in between Christmas and the weekend, and of course, we've got Hanukkah going on as well. So we'll talk about what that means for what we're doing from a trading perspective, but we're going to half size for the rest of the year. Not a lot of point in uh, trying to kill yourself here coming into the end of the year. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Uh, if I go to the, the projection mode and show you the current count, we are 11 bars up, which means there's a sell signal looming on the dollar index, potentially this week, even with a short week. Uh, we'll see what that leads to. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Headed to new lows for recent times. And the breakdown here in the last couple of days, pound dollar didn't do much this week at all. Aussie dollar at basically new lows or got there Wednesday. New Zealand dollar still holding that 13 uh, secret buy signal on the risk line from it from a couple of weeks back. And finally the pound yen uh, after the 13 sell signal a month ago came back now heading up just slightly. So not a lot of movement this week and we have the triple expiration which does slow things down for Friday. We almost didn't even make any calls for Friday. Probably shouldn't have. That would have been the better move. It usually is. Uh, here's a look at the euro dollar. Now we're going to look at this in 30 minute bars. So the range for the week from high to low, uh, 2550 to 22. It's over 300 pips which is pretty good. I mean we haven't seen a lot of that lately. Uh, the move down from Tuesday to uh, Friday was good. Monday was dead flat and going into Tuesday. The first two days of the week essentially were flat, a little drift up, and then got a pretty big move. So we did have a couple winners uh, later on in the week. Here's a look at the pound, dollar, uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth. High to low here is only 240 pips. Um, so it wasn't a great week from a trading perspective, but I, I really didn't expect it to be. I think we're wrapping up the year at this point and uh, just got to look to uh, getting into January. And that's why we're going to half size. Uh, for the rest of the year. Let's take a look at the economic calendar and see what we got. So Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, New Zealand's Westpac Consumer Sentiment, obviously not a big deal. Japan's Bank of Japan Monthly Report, got a, a meeting from the uh, Bank of England's uh, at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday, Consumer Confidence at Europe, existing home sales out of the U.S., Trade balance going into when, uh, Monday night here in New Zealand. We've got a bank holiday in Japan. China's got their CB leading index going into Tuesday. Europe's uh, French consumer spending, Italian retail sales, uh, UK's current account, mortgage approvals, final GDP, index of services, revised business investment. Canada's got their GDP. Uh, here in the U.S., we've got our final look at GDP. It's the third look, so it's not a big deal. Durable goods and orders. Um, the HPI here in the U.S. Housing Price Index. We've got the revised Michigan uh, Consumer Sentiment number, and uh, that's uh, also new home sales, core price index, core PC price index, personal spending, personal income, Richmond Manufacturing Index. A lot of data here in the U.S. Tuesday, but none of it very relevant. Uh, CB leading index out of Australia Tuesday night. Going to Wednesday, German Bank Holiday, Switzerland's uh, one speech. Uh, or the barometer, the economic barometer of the KOF. We've got the unemployment claims here in the U.S., along with crude oil and natty gas. Since they're going to be closed on Thursday, it is a half day for the stock market on Wednesday. Bank holiday going into Thursday out of New Zealand and Australia for Christmas. Japan's got their monetary policy meeting minutes. SPPI uh, housing starts going into Thursday. Uh, everybody's closed Thursday. Bank holiday in Switzerland, uh, France, Germany, Italy, U.K., Canada, the U.S., New Zealand, Australia, uh, for the rest of the week. That's actually going into Friday down there. They take two days off because they're smart. Uh, Japan, Thursday night, has got ta – how they, they dumped this on Christmas Eve night in the U.S. Household spending, CPI out of Tokyo, national CPI and employment rate, preliminary industrial production, retail sales, average cash earnings. Uh, and then going into Friday, most countries have a bank holiday, except, of course, the U.S. because we don't know how to take some time off. So we'll be open. So how does that meet look for us from a Forex trading perspective? We will have calls Sunday going into Monday, Monday going into Tuesday, Tuesday going into Wednesday, and that's it. For Wednesday, the half day of the stock market, Christmas Eve, we're not going to have any calls going into Christmas Day. That's a bank holiday. And we probably will not have calls Thursday going into Friday. 
most likely nobody's coming back for one day uh, in this time of year. So we're just going to skip it. We'll have the levels up for those who want to trade it. If you've taken our course, I'm sure you know what to do. And that's it. Uh, well, then the next week's going to be kind of a mirror of that where we've got New Year's Eve on Wednesday and this market's closed for New Year's Day on Thursday, Friday, that annoying in-between day. So it'll look the same from, in terms of what, how we're going to trade the markets. And then we start January and get up, get going again. But again, the Forex market did pick up the back three months of the year finally, and uh, we've been full size until this week. And it's been a good run. And hopefully we'll continue that once the New Year starts. Everybody have a great holiday season from TradeSite. We'll talk to you soon. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If uh, these videos are helpful, please like them on YouTube. Thank you.